In this video, we will learn how to use the article database Web of Science, how to use keyword strategies, and how to get full text. From the library homepage, go to Databases and type Web. Select Web of Science and click Go. Once at Web of Science, you'll see it says Search in Web of Science Core Collection. There are many different databases on this same platform, uh, including major biology ones like Biosis and Zoological Record. Search all databases at once. Note the default is topic, and you can also search by author or title. Note that the keywords that you use for topic doesn't search the full text of the paper, just the title, author, abstract, and keywords assigned to the paper. So I know a little bit about what I want to search, how reptiles that retain their eggs and give birth to live young are being impacted by climate change. But I'm not sure what combination of keywords is best, so I'm going to play around with them before I start looking at the papers in earnest. So I'll start with viviparous climate change. And I get 134 results. I'm going to scan the results to see how it treated my keywords and look for more potential keywords. Uh, these might be synonyms or similar concepts or technical terms. And after scanning the results, I realized the database is searching for climate and change because it assumes and between each term. Um, and it doesn't necessarily search it as a phrase. And I can also see that sometimes referred to as climate warming, and it hasn't always been called climate change, I know. Um, and I'm realizing how many different ways the type of animal is discussed. I'm interested in any viviparous reptile, but I can imagine that term not appearing in the paper or in the information about the paper. So how to deal with this without doing a dozen different searches. I'm going to click in the search bar and show you how to increase the power of your searching by using synonyms. This will work in most article databases, not just Web of Science. What you want to do is keep your synonyms or similar terms in the same box, connected by the word or. I'll take my term climate change into this box. Be sure to change it from author to topic. And I will add warming. I'm going to force the database to search this as a phrase. And I can do this with viviparous too by adding more specific taxonomic names. And click search. Now I've retrieved 209 results. This is more than I had before, which makes sense because using or gets you more, but it's not a crazy amount. The most important thing is to start with a good set of relevant results. Let's look at some other features of Web of Science. I can see that I can narrow by publication years and it's giving me the number of articles that are in each year. It is retrieving a number of different types of documents, not just journal articles. It looks like that there's some meetings or conference proceedings, um, some editorial materials, but most of them are journal articles. It's also retrieving something called review articles, which are great since they are peer-reviewed journal articles that summarize the research that's been done on a topic. You'll also notice that the database sorted these results by relevance. But you can also sort by time cited, how many times a paper has been cited, and sort that by highest first. What this feature also does is allow me to step into the stream of conversation about this topic, because that's what papers should be, part of a conversation, and follow that conversation over time. Sorting by time cited is also a great way to find the keystone papers, the papers that are foundational to an area of study, the beginning of the conversation. They will also tend to be older, of course. I can click on the title and look at the papers this paper cited in their references. 
which is like going back in time. Then I can look at the papers that cited this paper, which is like going forward in the conversation. From here, I could actually sort this result set again by time cited. Time cited is a good strategy for finding highly impactful articles and an excellent reason to use Web of Science Biosis and Zoological Record. So let's go back to results and look at how to get the full text. This example shows several ways to get the full text. It shows free published article from repository. This is the author's final version that the author posted. Um, it's peer reviewed and is a perfectly good version of this paper. There is the full text at publisher, which indicates that this, in this case, this article is free to read at the publisher site. And then there's our get it at UC link resolver. And the benefit of our get it at UC button, we will link you to the full text if we subscribe to the journal, or we will link you to an interlibrary loan link if we don't. And back to our full text example, if I click on the PDF link, it will take me to the full text. Happy searching. Get in touch if you need any help.